this is James Hurd of IFL TV in association with Matt Cleans, Jim Marbella. I'm in Fenway Park, Boston, Massachusetts. Just bumped into Gareth Bale. What's happening, Gareth? How are we doing? Yeah, not, not a lot, James. <laughs> it's Welsh. <laughs> Gareth Bale. I did gather that. Yeah. Actually, Fenway Park, though. What about it? Wait, listen. Mate, it's a good place, isn't it? First ever baseball experience last night. Could you talk me through the experience? <sighs> it was unbelievable. I'd never had any idea about baseball. Don't know the rules, didn't know what was going on. I thought it was like rounders, well it is rounders basically. Yeah. Unbelievable, I sat next to a couple of aficionados, not you by the way, <laughs> taught me through every single little nuance of the game, incredible. Unfortunately, our old Red Sox, they lost. What's 2-1 to the what Rangers? What did you learn about baseball? What are the fundamentals of the game without going too deep with the Fundamentals, basically, every opportunity you can, you have to buy yourself a beer, which is massively overpriced, <laughs> and then buy yourself a hot dog, which is about the size of my finger. Yeah. They're massively overpriced as well. And then everyone starts singing. It's basically it. That sounds great. Yeah, I mean, we're thinking about going again, maybe maybe after the weigh-in. Yeah. Big Red Sox fan over here now. That's what I mean, but is it kind of once you watch a baseball game and you kind of get the bug for it? <laughs> yeah, is it like that? It's just like, it's like a drug. <laughs> America's pastime is what they call it. Yeah. But I mean, it's weird, we're doing the presser here today. I mean, everyone who watch your presser footage will see it was the worst setup. It was like so bright behind them. We were up shooting down. That's just an explanation for everyone who's watching, who watched the presser and be like, why is a load of grass behind them? When actually, in reality, this is what it was. And you would have seen the head to heads. I mean, it was amazing. If only, they, if only they were fighting in the middle of it. They're not, they're fighting at Garnis Arena, which we've seen is about 6,000. It's pretty sweet. So it'd be good. I mean, James DeGaulle operated well. Probably two of the best super middleweights around at the moment. What are your thoughts on this fight? I, I can't wait. The closer we get, closer we got to it, and the more we're seeing James go, I'm just utterly convinced he's going to win. And I think he's got a good stop him. Good bet as well. I think he's nine to two to stop him. Four to one most places, but best price nine to two. And that, he, you speak to anyone, speak to Jim McDonald, and he's just saying that he's never seen him like this ever. He looks in fantastic shape, doesn't he? When you mm. compare him over the, probably the last 18 months. This is probably the best shape I've seen him in. By a mile. And the thing you've got to remember is he's usually used to stripping £10 off in the last week. Yeah. And that, like when you're doing that, every single drink, everything you eat, it's just stressful. You're constantly thinking about when you're allowed a glass of water. He ain't got, he ain't got any of that stress this time. And, well, I think, I think this is his time. I mean, if he does go on to win a world title, how do you think that compares with other Brits that have gone abroad to, to win world titles? I don't know. I see what you're getting at. It's not. It wouldn't be like an ups, It wouldn't be like a Lloyd Hannigan sort of thing. It's not. It's yeah. not that sort of thing. They're so e e evenly matched. It's a bit more like kind of Kel Brook, Sean Porter. You know, yeah. he's coming over. That I don't know if he's a slight, under, very slight, but most bookies would have it even, even price. You know, they're, and they're they're evenly matched. So both southpaws, both box. So I don't know. But that said, he's still coming to America. But it's going to be a bit weird in there because I don't, I don't know how many tickets they've done, but there aren't going to be many Darrell fans, for sure. I mean, most people I've spoke to about this, they give me like the politically correct answer. What the hell is going on with the belt situation? And again, today in the press conference, he's drawn a lot of attention to the fact that the belt... He even said it in the presser. Yeah. He said, let's, find he was like, let's forget about the IBF belt. It's completely bizarre. But then he repeated himself again yeah. and said it a couple more and times. And didn't really say for any reason. It's weird. It's a bit of a shame, I think, because it's obviously a massive dream for James Girl. And you read the press release, don't even mention the belt until like a Lou de Bella quote about five, five six bars it's in. It's on the poster Completely well, bizarre. on the poster. Yeah, Surely but I mean, it doesn't, be... it doesn't matter to James Gale though, does it? It doesn't, it doesn't yeah. matter to him. If he wins, he's going to be the champion. Whether they yeah. hold the belt up or whatever, it doesn't really matter. He's still going to go home with it and, and then he'll defend it as such as a champion. Would it, I'll be right in thinking the way they've done this, this will now set precedent for... Probably well, I mean, their cards. yeah, but it's not. Yeah, it's, this isn't. This isn't the first time, is it? We saw it with Peter Quillen come overweight. That's going to be an interesting thing. Is he going to weigh in? Well, is we he, asked him this. He says he's on weight. He, of course, he's going to say that. But we'll see. Adrian Broner come in a pound over the other the other week as well. I mean, I don't know. We, we'll have to see. He doesn't seem to care that much about the IBF title himself. James does, and so obviously that's going to drive him onto victory. Hopefully, interesting. It'll be interesting to hear what the board, the IBF board, actually have got to say about it. <laughs> yeah. Well, well they're, getting, they're getting they're getting their sanctioning fee though at this time, so I'm sure they'd be happy enough. But yeah, but if he comes overweight, they'll only get half of the sanctioning fee. Would that yeah, be that? and then James will get some. Then he'll be fighting. So a big pair of band coming, pound over or whatever, and he's still absolutely stretched him. So yeah, yeah. I, suppose, I suppose we'll have to wait and see. Weigh in tomorrow. Yeah. Looking forward to that. Apparently, it's at an iconic place. I can't remember the name of it. You can't get much more iconic than this, though, surely. No, I know. Yeah. I know. Big Red Sox fan. Big Red Sox fan. Who do you, who do you support? Are you Texas Rangers boy now. I'm gonna say Yankees. Oh, 
you can't say that here, mate. It's sacrilege. Is it? In fact, you better fucking keep quiet. <laughs> I'll kick you out. Mickey, Irish Mickey will come and chase me out of the ground. Yeah, your best mate. It's not good. Oh, well, listen, I said um, thank you for giving me a bit of time today. I Pleasure. Appreciate it. I know you're really busy. Mate, I've got so much on. Doing stuff, <laughs> whatever it is you actually do. <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch you and get real soon. Cheers, mate. Cheers.